Unengagwa promises economic stability despite rising challenges. President Emerson Unengagwa has once again pledged Zimbabwe's commitment to clearing its national debt and ensuring fiscal discipline. But questions remain about the government's capacity to meet these ambitious goals. Speaking at the high-level structured dialogue platform on arrears clearance and debt resolution in Harare, Unengagwa outlined his vision for a prosperous Zimbabwe, despite growing skepticism about the regime's ability to fulfill its promises. Government remains committed to maintaining fiscal discipline. Tight monetary policies will remain in place. Coordination between fiscal and monetary policy will ensure stability, said President Umningogwa, echoing a familiar refrain. He emphasized that clearing Zimbabwe's arrears was central to the country's economic recovery. But critics argue that the current financial constraints make such a strategy increasingly difficult to achieve. While the president's speech painted an optimistic picture, Zimbabwe's deteriorating financial situation raises doubts about the government's capacity to implement its debt clearance plan. Despite Umengagwa's claims of progress, external debt continues to mount, and domestic resources remain insufficient to tackle the country's obligations. Zimbabwe's economy has shown resilience. Umengagwa said, Last year we registered growth, and this year it is projected that the economy will grow by 2% on account of the drought which affected production. However, many analysts point out that the economic growth projections are often inflated and the country remains heavily reliant on foreign assistance and remittances to sustain itself. Omnengagwa's optimistic forecasts for the economy include a 6% growth next year, driven by recoveries in the agricultural and mining sectors. Yet, the president's assurances come amid a broader economic crisis. Characterized by inflation rates surpassing 200% and a currency that continues to lose value, Zimbabwe's ability to fulfill its debt obligations is further hindered by its over-reliance on external borrowing, which has only increased the strain on the national budget. On land reform, Uningogwe claimed the government had made strides in securing land tenure for all beneficiaries of the controversial land redistribution program. With regards to land tenure, the government made a bold decision to give security of tenure to all beneficiaries of the land reform program, he stated. However, questions persist over the sustainability and effectiveness of the land reform policies with many arguing that the lack of proper infrastructure and investment in the agricultural sector has hindered its long-term success. The president also highlighted ongoing infrastructure projects funded largely through domestic resources. Transformative infrastructure projects across the country are changing the quality of life for Zimbabweans, he said. But these claims are under scrutiny, with critics questioning how much of this infrastructure development is actually taking place and whether it is sustainable without foreign investment. As Zimbabwe faces mounting economic challenges, Umningagwa's claims of fiscal discipline and debt clearance appear increasingly disconnected from the harsh realities of a country struggling to regain its economic footing. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.